Hello and welcome to episode number 150 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with the last in our series of NS Hoso players being freaking awesome. First up, we have our non NS Hoso player, so please feel free to boo him. His name is Startail Curious! And opposing him is our hero today. He is the one time GSL champion. His name is NS Hoso Jack G. Oh, yeah. Uh, quick note episode 148 is not on YouTube. There is a reason for that, and that is because YouTube's checksum keeps telling me. That video has already been uploaded. It hasn't. I need to sort that out. I need to add like an extra 10 seconds of just blackness to the end of the show. Um, so that it can ignore the checksum and get re-uploaded. I will do that when I have the time. Probably on Sunday. Because I'm kind of busy today and tomorrow. Today I have GPW in Wigan. And tomorrow I have work. Because occasionally I do need to earn money. Quick note about what I said yesterday about NS Hoso being the university team. They are a university team. However, uh, some lovely person in the comments pointed out that some of their players are 23 and are therefore much too old to actually attend the uh, university itself. So, thank you very much for that. Um, and that will teach me to never ever trust a thing that Wolf says again. Curious there. Going for the hatch first build. Very, very nice. And Jack G going for Barracks first. Probably a one Rax expand. Does have the gas, so could be going into a slightly later factory. We shall see what he wants to do with this. I'd imagine it's possibly an expand into Reactor Hellions. But no. He is getting that Supply Depot, so this is probably not an expand build. Looks like he is just going to go for those early Hellions. Um, strange that, uh, considering that he got the gas after the barracks. Normally if you're going to go that, you get the gas first, so that you can make the factory immediately upon completion. We have a spawning pool going down for Curious. Curious, by the way, a very good uh, player in the Startel roster. Never quite had the results that I feel he deserves, but hopefully he continues to improve and can impress us in the future. Look, there we go, factory going down. Will we see a reactor? There we go. So, called it. Admittedly, it's not hard because it's what every single South Korean Terran is doing versus Zerg, even after the patch changes that give Queens the super ground range and allow them to totally shut down any Hellion pressure. So, couple of announcements, same announcements as always. You can find me and a bunch of other great StarCraft 2 casters over at the brand new StarCraft 2 strategy website www.ez the letters starcraft.com they're really really cool and the guys who run it are so dedicated to StarCraft 2 it is unreal they are such such nice people so please 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 go check it out give them the views and of course do not forget I also work for a company called Vapor Entertainment you can find our videos over at youtube.com forward slash vapor game uh, I do episodes of a series called Starcraft 2 best of the best which goes up every single Friday and has more views than anyone else on the channel so can we please keep that up Hellions are out now going to shut down this circling pressure and allow Jack to build his expansion that was nice work from Curious though oh he even catches the SCV so this Command Center is delayed even further. I love stuff like that. Ooh, going for a 1 1 1 style build. Tech Lab is out, so it could well be for Banshees. We shall see exactly what Jaxi is about to do. Anyway, yeah, go check out Vapor Game. It's a really, really good opportunity for me. Ha ha ha, three queens. Them Hellions ain't going nowhere. And a spine crawler about to finish up, which will allow at least one of the queens to go back and start injecting again. There we go. Bam. Look at me. I'm getting stuff right today. More Hellions moving up to join these, but man, even four Hellions is not enough. Sorry, Jack G, but you've got to go home with that. So, we have Banshees on the way. Okay, so this is a real life 1-1-1. Oh, nice snap of the Creep Tomb there, but nothing more going on. And another one gets laid down instantly. Oh, forces the cancel on it as well. Genius. Oh, I like that. 
That was really, really good. Ooh, and a third command center going down. At about the same timings as Curious is. Jack T scouted that out. Sees what's happening. Nice harass here by these Hellions. He can't do a lot, but he's forcing these two queens to be careful about where they drop their creep. Okay, so just a quick talk through everything that's going on. We have the Roach Warren. We have another gas going down for Curious. We have the Evolution Chamber finishing up. We have Stim on the way from Jack G and a bunker going down. Where is that going down? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Oh, right in the corner. Uh, strange positioning on that bunker, but I guess it could work. We have two spore crawlers going down, so I would suggest that the Banshee has been spotted and or killed. Okay, it hasn't been killed, but it must have been spotted. I wonder whereabouts it was. And look at that, he's taking the starport off the tech lab, so bam, not bothering. Ah, is the Banshee. We're right in the middle of the map at the moment. Yeah, that was getting taken out. Sorry, I can't see the minimap as well today. Um, where my mic is, it kind of, the pop screen covers it. If I get my glasses on, perhaps I can see it a bit better. I can see most of it okay, but like single units, I cannot see at all. Like just one blip like this, really, really hard to see on this screen. But that is something I will just deal with because I do these for you. I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, we have the hatchery morphing to the lair. Decent lair timing. It should finish at about 10 or so minutes. We have more gases going down for Curious. We have a ton of upgrades. We've got the Zergling speed and we've got plus one armor and plus one attacks for the Zerglings. The, uh, the ground carapace, of course, also affecting the roaches. We have 1-1 one, one on the way, though, for Jack G. Stim is about to finish, and Combat Shield is on the way. Hellions still doing uh, more little harassments, trying to keep map control, trying to stop Curious from finding out about this base. Now, if we take a quick look at the work account, ha, ah, that is 39 to 67. So, Jack G, not spending a lot of money on SCVs right now. Of course, he does have mules that help him keep up. Ho, ho, ho. But the Zerglings have found this third base. And now, Jack going to have to be careful. I would suggest he takes these rocks down as soon as possible. Because that is a long way to walk around. But, of course, these rocks do help isolate that base. Should he take the third? Uh, Curious cannot easily move up into the second. So, we shall see. I do see some players keeping that up. We have a bailing nest and a spire on the way. We have a macro hatch going down at the third. Interesting positioning. Normally you see macro hatches in the main or at the natural, but putting the macro hatch at the third. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. We have blue flame on the way for the Hellions. And an armory going down for the plus two upgrades. Maybe for Thor's. Since the spire is on the way, this one banshee is still doing damage. Suddenly realises it doesn't actually have to go home because... The queen ran away. Oh, and we have a fourth base going down for Curious. Nice. I like this timing. Uh, he's feeling quite confident at the moment. He still has a tiny bit of a supply lead, but I'd imagine... Whoops. If I can hit the right key. Yeah. All of those are in drones. So, in fact, Jack T with the stronger army at this point. So, Curious does need to be careful. In the base, we see a ton of barracks going down. So this surprises me, uh, Jack G going for the bio play in this match. I did, I suspected off the back of the 1-1-1 he might go more mech, that we might see a lot of siege tanks. But I guess not. I thought perhaps siege tanks, vikings, maybe a few banshees mixed in for some firepower on the ground. Okay, so we have plus two, plus two on the way for Jack G. We have Baneling Speed and Zerg Flyer attacks for the Muters. Here he goes, trying to get some killing done with the Zerglings, but not a great deal going on. Jack G, having taken down those rocks, is well placed to defend there. Decent creep spread from Curious. It's not the best, it's not the worst. The Hellions, I must admit, have been doing quite well at kind of forcing Curious to stay back a bit. Along with the Banshee, uh, that's something else you can do with the Banshees actually really well. Is just fly them around the map, scan and kill a ton of creep teamers. But he cannot do that anymore because the meters are out and oh, Jack T is moving a few marines out to here. But the meters are coming in this way. The meters will hit the base but so will the Zerglings. <coughs> Excuse me. The Zerglings catching the marines. Will they kill them all? We have meters in the main base. There are no missile turrets up. 
So all these STVs are going to die. The last of the Marines falls. Jack, he's in a bit of trouble here. He's going to lose a ton of SCVs. And these Marines coming out of the barracks are definitely not enough. Curious, you need to focus them down. Curious is focusing them down. More barracks are on the way. More SCVs are dying. Marauders going down. Marauders can't fight up, uh, can't shoot upwards, rather. Ah, where are all the Marines? There, there are just not enough Marines. He has too many Marauders. Damn. Look at that. 24 workers killed. You are a beast, Startel Curious. This is a great attack from him. We have plus one vehicle weapons on the way. Oh, but he's going to try and snipe. He could easily snipe that eBay. Ah, ha, ha. Doesn't get caught by those marines. Is going to escape. I'd have liked to have seen him snipe the eBay or the armory though. Before plus two finished. That would have been incredible. As it is, Hive is on the way. So perhaps going to Broodlords. I could see Broodlords in fact being very effective against this composition. It is mainly by for Jackty. And Jackty at the moment is way down on supply. He lost all those marines in the middle of the map. Just to Zerglings. Which meant they weren't at home. To kill these meters and now Jack D is far behind I'm not too sure he can pull this back this is gonna to be tough for him we have banelings on the way now 22 banelings morphing oh the hellions find them <laughs> they can do nothing there is too much here this is it curious is going for a huge attack at this point he's gonna go in for the third we have an army here, but there's no siege tanks, and he's up against Bailings. All of these Marines and Marauders are going to get caught. Hellions going down as well. This is a massive attack from Curious. Can Jack G hold? It looks like he can. Jack G taking down all the ground forces. Curious just trying to take out some SCVs while he's here, but he loses all of that. Wow. What a good hold from Jack G. Man, I did not think that was going to happen. That shows you what upgrade advance, um, what up, keeping up, sorry, with the upgrades of Curious can do. Curious though, adding another base, getting Zerg melee attacks 3, getting Zerg ground carapace level 3, whereas we have only plus 3 attack going. Okay, now plus 3 armor starts, but damn, Jack G, that was such a sick hold. I really, I can't believe that. I, re I genuinely thought Jack T was going to die at that point. We have an Ultralisk coming and a Great Aspire on the way. Curious getting all of the tech now. He's going to move out with this Speedling army. I imagine, really, that's just to lose them and free up some supply for these. Well, no, he's actually making just a ton more Speedlings. So there we go. We have Muters now at the back of Jack T's main, taking down reactors now on this factory. So only one Hellion at a time on the way now. But this is a ton of Marines. He's got to get out of there. Jack T, I'm not sure he's coping with this well. I mean, he's controlling well. But I'd like to have seen Thor production by now. I'd like to have seen more siege tanks uh, in response to the Banelings he should have known were coming. But we shall see. Wow, that Marine just got stomped. I just noticed something really weird. By the way, it's just bugging it. Ooh, an Infestor on the way. You, you guys know refineries, like, they, they hand, they, they hand, look, they put it in there, and then this bit swings around and hands them it. Oh, that's creepy. Anyway, <laughs> um, Buders <laughs> are killing more SUVs. they got to get out of there now, though. There are too many Marines there. Loses one, and Jack is just going for a massive push. But the Bailings are going to hit. Nice splitting from Jack G, though. But it's not going to be enough. Sorry, Jack G. These Bailings are going to ruin your day. Bye-bye, Marauders. We have a ton of Menorax here now that can do absolutely nothing. I'm not entirely sure why he didn't just pick those Marines up and save them. Because there was no way he was winning that fight. Curious now at 200 supply to Jack G's 140. He is on the way. Ultralisks are here. Zerglings on the way, and one more infested joining them. All the upgrades you could ever imagine for a Zerg. But Curious, it looks like he's just going to stomp through here. Jack G's supply is dwindling. Curious, it looks like he's going to take this game. Bailing's getting some wonderful hits on. More SCVs getting damaged. Speedling's coming in now. Jack G is at 
under half the supply of Curious. Can Curious take this game? He is remaking so many units now. And Jackie just does not have anything left to hold with. We have 14 Marines and 2 Marauders against 5 Queens, 3 Infestors, 6 Bailings, 3 Roaches, 4 Muters, 3 Ultralis and 45 Lengths. He's up at 91 drones. That is some sick economy. Curious soon will need to be sacking some of those drones just so he can make more army. But to be honest, I don't think he even needs to do that because I think he is about to win this game. We have Zerg Flyer attacks level 2. These Bailings are going to finish. He's going to bust down the front of that base and then the Ultras are just going to carve everything up. Jack T with one last ditch attack but it's not going to be enough. The Fungal goes down. The Marines go down. The Bailings are going to finish. The Bailings are done and Jack T just does not have enough to hold here. He's doing everything he can but this command center is going to burn down. No good uh, good repair but there's the GG from Jack T. There we have it, man. Jack G played well, but not well enough. Startel Curious with an excellent game there from a Zerg player. One of the best Zerg vs. Terrans I've seen in ages, in fact. NS Hoso just had no answer for that army. Um, I really feel like he should have gone into mech off the back of the 111. I do not feel like Bio is the way to go anymore in vs. Zerg. If you do that, you really, really have to do the kind of Marine King Pult style of just constant, constant dropping and aggression. And NSO Jackie was just unable to do that. It surprises me, actually, given that NSO Jackie won his GSL against FXO's Lenoch, who at the time I was considering the best Zerg in the world alongside guys like Nasty and, uh, and Don Regu. So. There you have it, Jack. You're just unable to stand up against the might of Startel Curious. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I, of course, will be back next Tuesday with episode 4 of Vokta Plays Planescape Tournament. I'll be back on the Wednesday with yet more StarCraft 2 Pro games, hopefully uh, debuting the Team Carnage stuff. I don't know if that will be done in time for next Wednesday. It might have to wait for the week after. If you start to miss me, of course, you can still find me over at youtube.com forward slash vapor game. Brand new episode of Best of the Best going up today. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you all have a very enjoyable weekend. I know I'm going to. Take care. While you're out there at the weekend, do you know what? Do something nice for someone. Let's, let's spread joy in the